Here we go, body weight routine B. This is gonna be the burn portion of Unlock Your Glutes. We're gonna get right to it, restorative lengthening exercise, starting off with the pigeon pose. This is traditionally a yoga position, but I personally love this exercise because it really opens up the hips as well as the glutes. So as Amanda's getting into this position already, she's gonna be going through this exercise five repetitions per side with a pulsing tempo, holding the stretch from three to five seconds each repetition. So every rep, she's holding it three to five seconds, really getting into the stretch as she goes down. Perfect. One more. Excellent. I'm gonna switch legs and do the other side. Five repetitions, three to five second hold per stretch, per repetition. Now this can be a challenging exercise for some, so if you can't get yourself all the way down, that's okay. Just do your best to get in this position here. Perfect. Again, five repetitions. This is really gonna open up those hips, allowing the glutes to do their thing. Perfect. One more. Great. Let's go right into the neuromuscular activation exercises. There's two in this portion. The first one is a side line hip abduction exercise. So she's gonna be completely on her side. The, the top leg is gonna be extended out. And what she's gonna be doing is just lifting the leg up, holding it at the top for 10 seconds. Five repetitions per leg. Now she's really gonna start feeling the muscle being activated at the top portion of the outer part of the glute. Down, good. We have four more reps just like that. Now really take your time with this. Make sure you're getting at least five repetitions, no more than that, 10 seconds hold per repetition. Again, this is your activation sequence. You have to do these exercises correct in order to get the correct results that you're looking to get out of this particular workout. And again, with all activation exercises, you're contracting that muscle as hard as you can. So don't be surprised if you actually get warmed up and start sweating a little bit from these exercises. Perfect, let's go to the other side. So five more reps before we start actually the burning exercises that we like to call. Perfect. Good. Three more. Again, if you're starting to feel that top leg starting to drop a little bit, do your best to get that leg back up to its peak position. Again, focus on these exercises and do them correct, just because they will help you re receive the, the results that you're looking for. Great. One more. Really do your best to get that leg up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Rest, perfect, great. So to finish off the neuromuscular activation sequence, we're gonna be going right into an alternating Superman. So flip onto your stomach, extend your arms out over your head, straighten your legs out. So what Amanda's gonna be doing here is lifting up one arm and the opposite leg, holding those limbs up for 10 seconds before moving on to the other two sides. Five repetitions per side, alternating each repetition. Again, squeezing the glute muscle as hard as you can making sure you get the most activation and the most muscle fiber recruitment that, will, that will, is possible for the glutes. Good. Good, we have three more per side. Good. And this is one of those exercises where you think that you're lifting up high enough Try to lift the limbs up even a little higher to get the most out of your muscle because over time your muscles will fatigue and that's normal, and that's a good thing, but really try to emphasize lifting those limbs up as hard as you can for 10 seconds. Let's 
it's looking good. Now as we start getting into the latter part of this exercise, people have a tendency to rush this. So take your time, follow the protocol that I gave to you because there is reason behind it. So make sure you're doing everything to its entirety. Almost there. Perfect, awesome. So let's move into the shaping portion of our burn routine. We're gonna start off with single leg hip thrust. So get yourself a bench. If you don't have a bench, a coffee table will work, a dining room chair, even the corner of your bed. Position your upper body on the bench perpendicular with it. Walk your feet out so you're in a nice tabletop position. Knees are bent, lift up one leg. You're gonna drive the hips, lower the hips down and drive them up. This is done pretty quick, up, down. 15 reps per side. After your 15th rep, you're gonna hold it at the top for 10 seconds before moving on to the next exercise. Perfect, two more. One. Hold it, 10 seconds. Awesome. Do your best to hold those hips up. Good. Rest a little bit, switch sides. Again, 15 reps on the other side with that nice 10 second ISO hold at that last repetition. Reset, get those hips up, get the leg up. 15 reps. Now, if you can't go all the way down, do your best to go down as far as you can. I understand you might have some, uh, some injury or muscular imbalance or even just this lack of strength that you're not able to get full repetitions here. 13, two more. And hold it 10 seconds. Good, good, good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't forget to breathe. Get those hips up. Almost there. And down. Awesome. Good. Take a little bit of rest. Now we're going to get rid of the bench. We're going to go into a quadruped position. That is all fours. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. What you're going to be doing is keeping one leg bent, but you're going to be lifting the leg back, extending the hip pushing the, your foot towards the ceiling. This is your donkey kick. Again, 15 reps per side, and you're gonna hold that last 15th rep for 10 seconds at the top. Always keeping your foot flexed, so you're, the bottom of your foot is pointed straight up towards the ceiling. All the movement is coming from the hips. Two more. One more, and let's hold that for 10 seconds, nine. Three, two, one, great. Switch sides, 15 repetitions on the other leg. Now do your best to isolate just the glutes. Try not to move the body too much. All the movement should be coming from the leg that's moving. Eight, good, nine, 10, five more. Four, last one and hold it for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and relax. Great. Moving into the clamshell exercise. So go ahead, lie on your side. Get in a nice comfortable position there. Knees are at a 45 degree angle, stacked on top of each other. Now notice that her feet are gonna stay in place. What, is she, what Amanda's gonna do here is just lift the top leg open and then close it. Just think of a clamshell that opens and closes. That's what this exercise is. 15 repetitions per side, going at a more rapid pace, about a one second up, one second down. Make sure your feet stay stacked on each other and just externally rotate that leg open to making sure you get the most out of this exercise. Go up as high as you can and all the way down. Two more, 14, and great. Let's switch sides. Same thing, get in position first, good.
and five more before moving on. Two, three, four. Nice, awesome. Good job, Amanda. All right, now we're gonna be going into the toning phase of our burn routine. So go ahead and get on your back. This is gonna be the glute bridge. We're gonna be doing more reps on this one, 30 in total, and same pace as before, one second up, one second down, pretty quick, but the last rep, she's gonna be holding it at the top for 10 seconds. So 30 repetitions of the glute bridge. Keeping your knees slightly bent, driving the hips all the way up, head and shoulder is flat on the floor. Ten, good. Halfway there. Now again, these exercises in the format of this program, you're gonna be sculpting and shaping and toning the muscles being used. So that, that gives the name the burn. You might start feeling that burning effect for these exercises. You're only gonna achieve that with those higher repetitions at a faster pace. And this will give you that muscular mechanical stress and damage. Let's hold it at the top for 10 seconds, getting those hips up as high as you can, squeezing those glutes as hard as you can. Almost there. Keep going, keep going. Awesome, good job. Rest a little bit, 15 seconds to be exact. Now we're gonna go into a frog pump position. This is a unique exercise, so pay attention. You're gonna start in the same position as the glute bridge, but this time you're gonna bring your feet touching each other, the bottoms of your feet. You're gonna push your knees apart as far as you can. From there, you're gonna close the knees together just a little bit. This is your starting position. Notice she picked her head up, chin tucked into the neck, and it's almost like a crunch, but think of this as your starting position. Now what she's gonna be doing is lifting the hips up, squeezing the, the glutes up and down, 30 repetitions total, and she's gonna hold it again for 10 seconds on that last repetition. Always tucking that chin in, keeping those knees and feet in the starting position, just moving the hips up and down. Now this might be a little awkward for some, but just trust me on this one, it's one of the best exercises that you can do to build the entire glutes, not just one muscle, but all the glutes in a good round shape. Keep going, three, two, one. Hold it, awesome. Tuck that chin in, keep those hips up, get them up, get them up. Nice, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, and Good. All right, let's move into the ninth exercise, which is a, it's a quadruped straight leg cross. So flip on over, all fours position, hands under the shoulders. Now take note of this one. She's gonna extend one leg back and she's gonna cross over, counting 30 reps per side. This is done pretty quick. So it's a straight leg cross. Try not to move the hips so much. All the movement should just be coming from that moving leg. A lot of people just don't have enough core strength to make sure that they keep their hips stable and allow the leg to do the movement. Again, it might take 20, 25, even 30 reps to get that burning effect, but that's what we're after. That's why we're doing a high amount of repetitions. Awesome, switch legs. 30 reps on the other leg, same exact format, keeping that core tight. Let the leg do all the work. Keep crossing over, almost there. Looking good, stabilizing the, the hips. All right, looks great. All right, good job. Last exercise, the starfish hold. So you're gonna get in a, on a side lying position. So there's one of two ways you can go about this. The version that Amanda's showing you right now, this is the more advanced version. If you have a hard time doing this particular move, again, you're gonna be holding this position here for 30 seconds. Again, if you're having a hard time doing this, you can simply drop down to the elbow and maintain the same upright position with that top leg. You're still getting the same effect on that glute. 
It just might be a little easier on the shoulders and also a little bit of the core. This is the last exercise of this routine, so stick with it and you're almost there. Awesome. All right, so let's move on to the other side and do our starfish hole for another 30 seconds. Get in position either the high plank or that low plank. Hold it there for 30 seconds. Perfect. Like I said a moment ago, if you have a difficult time holding this position, simply drop down to the elbows. Even if you go into the high plank position for a couple seconds, trying to build up that strength and then you drop down to the elbows, that's totally okay. Now if you find this whole routine pretty easy, go through it a second time or even a third time to get the most out of this. Nice, that was awesome. So that completes the body weight routine burn.